Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello friends. In this session we are going to understand the concept of order of magnitude. Now order of magnitude is to estimate a value, is to make an approximation of a value. Let's say for example if you are coming to me saying that I have a new phone, there is a new phone being introduced, first I will ask you the price of the phone. If I, I, I'll say that if the price is between 60,000 to 70,000 or 50,000 to 60,000 then I may, may not buy that phone. However, if the phone is ranging from 10,000 to 15,000 then I may buy, buy that phone. So, order of magnitude gives me the approximation of a scale of a value. Now, it can be anything, it can be uh, any unit, it can be a kgs, it can be meters, it can be anything. So, let us understand how exactly are we going to find the order of magnitude. Let's say for example, I am giving you a number, the number is 157. 3, 8 and ask you to calculate the order of magnitude. The first rule of calculating order of magnitude is to convert this number in such a way that there is only one digit before the decimal point. So the number will be 1.5738 into 10 raised to 4. So what is the order of magnitude? The order of magnitude is 10 raised to 4. So order of magnitude of this number is 10 raised to 4. So okay, I'll give you another number. 5, sorry, uh, 3, 4, 5, 9, 8, 7, 4. Calculate the order of magnitude. Now, to calculate the order of magnitude, I have to first convert this number in such a way that there is only one digit before the decimal point. So, I will write this as 3.459874 into 10 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into 10 raised to 6. So, the order of magnitude of this number is 10 raised to 6. Right? Let us take another number. The number is 8765. Calculate the order of magnitude. So, again the same rule, one digit before the decimal point, 8.765765 into 10 raised to 3. Right? So, what is the order of magnitude? You will say that the order of magnitude is 10 raised to 3. If your answer is 10 raised to 3, then it is wrong. Why? Because we require to see this digit. If this digit is less than 5, then the order of magnitude is same as the previous one. See, what was the digit over here? 1. So, order of magnitude is 10 raised to 4. What is the digit over here? 3. The order of magnitude, uh, magnitude was 10 raised to 6. But here, what is the digit? 8. And 8 is greater than 5. So, if, the, if this digit is greater than 5, then we require to add one more to this 3 to calculate the order of magnitude. So, the order of magnitude for this digit will be 10 raised to 4 and not 10 raised to 3. Right? So, if this digit is less than 5, then the order of magnitude will remain the same. However, if this digit is greater than 5, then the order of magnitude will be uh, we will add one more to the power of our order of magnitude. So that means here the order of magnitude is 10 raised to 4. Right. Let us take uh, uh, some uh, values. Uh, the, for example, radius of the earth. Radius of the earth is 6400 kilometer. So what is the order of magnitude? So the order of magnitude is 6.400 into 10 raised to 3. So that means the order of magnitude will be here. This is 6. 6. 
so 6 is greater than 5. So the order of magnitude will be, so order of magnitude will be 10 raised to 4, right? Okay, let us take some other value. What is the, uh, what is the charge of electron? Yeah, so the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Right. So, uh, what is the order of magnitude? It is already been in the same. Uh, it is already in the same format. So, I can say that the order of magnitude is 10 raised to minus 19. Right. Let us take Avogadro's number. 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. What is the uh, order of magnitude? Here we have 6. So, the order of magnitude is 10 raised to 24. So, this is the order of magnitude. Right? Let us take some different numbers. Uh, Three, five, four into 10 raised to minus 5. The question asks is calculate the order of magnitude. So, I can say that this number will be 3.54 into 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to minus 5. So, this is so this will be 3.54 into 10 raised to minus 3. So, what is the order of magnitude? The order of magnitude is 10 raised to minus 3. Right? Let us take some other number. Uh, 7, 8, 5, 3, uh, 4 into 10 days to minus 7, right? So, how to calculate 7.854 into 10 days to 3 into 10 days to minus 7. So, this comes to 7.854 into 10 raised to minus 4. So, what is the order of magnitude? Here we have 7. So, that means we have to add one more number to the uh, uh, to the power of this order of magnitude. So, that means the order of magnitude is minus 3. So, it is 10 raised to minus 3. So, the order of magnitude of this number is 10 raised to minus 3. Right? Let us take some other numbers. Uh, 0.000345 calculate the order of magnitude of this number so i have to convert it into number such that there is only one decimal before the, uh, one digit before the decimal point so i can write this number as 3.45 into 1 2 3 4 so it is 10 raised to minus 4 so, what is the order of magnitude? The order of magnitude is 10 days to minus 4. Right? So, this is how you can calculate the order of magnitude of any given number. Right? I hope you have understood the session. Thanks a lot. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.